Welcome to the basics of cold chain in MSF video. This video will introduce you the basic concepts about how to manage a cold chain in MSF missions. But before to start, what is cold chain? The cold chain is a system to ensure the quality and the safety of thermos sensitive products. All the way from the manufacturer supplier to the beneficiaries. The system has two part well defined. Transport that can be done by car, truck, plane, motorbike and storage, cold room, fridge. Why we use the cold chain? We use the cold chain because some products are sensitive to heat, sensitive to cold or sensitive to sunlight. Who is in charge of the management of the cold chain? The management of the cold chain is a collaboration between the logistics and medical teams. To define clearly the responsibilities is one of the most effective ways of ensuring the cold chain quality. The following steps must be assigned with clear responsibilities, transport, storage, monitoring, maintenance of equipment and correct use of the equipment. Let's see them one by one. Transport and Reception The possible profiles responsible for these steps would be, the logistician, the log supply, the medical storekeeper or the pharmacist manager. Equipment Storage the possible profiles responsible for these steps will be, the logistician, the log assistant or the storekeeper. Thermosensitive products storage. The profiles responsible for these steps will be, the pharmacist manager, nurse or lab supervisor. As well they can do the monitoring of temperature. Installation and maintenance. For these steps, the logistician, the log assistant, or the technical logistician can be responsible. What about the equipment of the cold chain? There are two types of cold chain equipment. Active cold chain used for storage. In MSF, the equipment used for the active cold chain is a compressor fridge or freezer run by electricity. And the passive cold chain used for transport. The equipment used for the passive cold chain are, cold box, cool box, vaccine carriers or isothermal box. The cold is kept in this container by the means of ice packs. But careful! You must follow the guideline to know how to condition correctly the ice packs. Otherwise, you will freeze your products and they will have to be destroyed. But in the cold chain to ensure the quality of the thermos sensitive products, we need to monitor the temperature. To do that we have a different kind of devices, thermometers, freeze tag, VBM, vaccine vial monitor, blue log or log tag systems. Remember, the management of the cold chain is a collaboration between the logistics and medical teams. 